What? No. Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hafro. Today we're going to be getting into some more Wheel of Time. First off, I want to say thank you to uh, all of those uh, commenters who were saying that I was being a little bit too spoilery. Uh, uh, 2020 hindsight, I was so excited for uh, the show and everything that uh, usually when I do reactions, I just kind of like blurt out what I'm thinking at the time. And uh, when thinking about it now, I probably should have kind of censored myself a bit. Uh, so I really appreciate your comments about that. Going forward, uh, each reaction to Wheel of Time episodes will be strictly episode-based. Uh, I'll only be talking about what I think about the episode and seeing it, so I won't be referencing anything that may happen down the line uh, that I remember. If something happens that I do remember, I might point it out, but other than that, uh, strictly about the episode. So uh, uh, I really want this, this, this series to be enjoyed by both... Uh, uh, people who've read the books and people who haven't, similar to like the Game of Thrones situation. Uh, I remember uh, watching that show and just loving watching people's reactions to it who had read the books and not. So uh, definitely, definitely, if you are uh, someone who hasn't read the books, please keep along with the journey. I'm going to still stay away from spoilers from now on. So thank you guys so much for uh, uh, letting me know about that. Um, also, the month of December is coming up, so I do want to do some... Uh, Christmas movie reactions. I'm not sure how many, but at least one. Last year, I reacted to Elf, which um, if you want to see that reaction, you can uh, click on the card, hopefully, <laughs> that I remember to put up here. But if you have suggestions about movies for me to watch for Christmas, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I have seen a lot. I've seen like Home Alone and, and all those Die Hard, which I consider a Christmas movie. Um, my favorite one is Jingle All the Way. So if you are interested in like a nostalgic reaction to some things that I have seen, um, I would be open to that. I just need to know if you guys are interested. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if there's a Christmas movie you want me to watch. And uh, other than that, if you are new to the channel, thank you guys so much for joining. If you're a new subscriber from some of the past videos, really, really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you are not subscribed, please make sure to hit that button uh, and hit the like button if you enjoy the video. It really, really helps me out. I'm trying to get that 1,000 subscribers to get that community tab and all the likes help uh, reach uh, get that YouTube algorithm out there to kind of help uh, show my stuff to more people who haven't seen it. So really, really appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far and your, uh, the new subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Uh, with that being said, last we left off, the first episode, we had our four potential uh, dragons going with Moraine off to somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, so that's pretty much the gist of it. They left two rivers and now uh, we get to see what their journey is. So let's just jump into it. Episode two, Wheel of Time. We leave now. All right. Where are they going? A lot of people in white cloak-ish garments. Have you ever tried this? What? Oh, okay, so was it fresh? Oh, he's talking to a captured woman, okay. A brutality. Oh, to the her hand is missing. Is she, was she a... Its bones and beak and feet cut the inside of your mouth. Oh, so that was his blood. Just enough that you bleed. Okay, so that's an Aes Sedai. Oh, he's got a collection of uh, Aes Sedai rings. I wonder if he's uh, some kind of hunter of Aes Sedai. And they're burning her alive. Okay. That's one way to start an episode. Are we getting like actual credit scene now? I was wondering if they were gonna do something like that because uh, there wasn't one in the first episode. Kind of interesting. I think they're showing like an actual like a uh, wheel, um, like a a, a a need like the thing that threads clothing and how it's kind of weaving uh, the stories. Then we need to move faster. All right, 
Looks like we're picking up right where we left off with them escaping two rivers. It's a lot of Trollocs. I wonder if they did uh, CGI for all of them or if they did actual uh, like makeup and, and prosthetics for all of them. Okay, well that looks like very much CGI. And all of a sudden it's dark. <laughs> You're not the type of woman that hears no often. I am not. <laughs> Are they making Matt and Perrin do all the hard work? Rand's just sitting there doing nothing. So he either just not know how to swim and drown in the water, or is the water actually hurt him? I will say, I like the design of the Trollocs. It's similar to a lot of things, like Minotaurs and stuff, but it's definitely just slightly different than a lot of other, uh, uh, you know, fantasy creatures. I know they said what this thing is, uh, but I'm pretty much probably going to just call it Voldemort slash uh, Mouth of Sauron looking thing, because that's what it reminds me of. You monster! Stop! Don't! Well, he's probably dead. He mentioned White Cloaks. I imagine those are probably the guys we saw at the beginning of the episode. With all the white. <laughs> Loving all the scenery. So pretty. Did she just like rejuvenate her horse with her magical abilities? They need their strength. So do you. Oh, so she's like giving them like kind of like her strength or will they say the last dragon broke the world but the next one will save it well i heard the dragons are gonna have wings <laughs> what you doing moraine it's your mind and how you use it that will mean much more in the battles to come very wise words not just about magic but in general let yourself drink very cool oh my did Perrin get bit during the battle uh oh was Rand getting sick what in the Did he just burr the dragon out of- or no, a bat, okay. Uh, who dat? Okay, so it was all a dream then. Man, I thought that was- oh no, the bat's still there! What? Huh. No. Oh, there are a lot of dead bats. I've run out of patience. And time. It's definitely interesting seeing Rand get so kind of hot-headed. Um, most of the time we've seen him very reserved and calm. Those monsters killed Nynaeve and Layla and half the people we've ever loved. Uh, they technically didn't kill Layla, but <laughs> Perrin hasn't said anything about that. Let's try it and stay on a good side. Come on. Matt being the, uh, the one of reason. <laughs> one of the questioners with us today. He will be thorough. Questioners, huh? I didn't. But I'm from the Borderlands, where men know how to keep their hands to themselves. Yeah! They... I was literally about to point that out. Like, why is he just all of a sudden going up and touching her? Very rude. Only one of those women can heal this wound. Light be with you. Wow, 
Seeing them recommend going to an Aes Sedai to get healed? Interesting, from a white cloak. We questioners have a higher purpose. I do find it interesting, uh, Robert Jordan's use of uh, white cloaks, uh, and the fact that they're kind of very much um, ha hateful and against the Aes Sedai. It gives off kind of like a, a KKK vibe towards the uh, um, women of the Aes Sedai. We can only heal others, not ourselves. It's why we usually travel together. And you oh, that's an interesting fact. We will always tell the truth. It just may not be the truth you think you hear. So listen carefully. We will always tell the truth, but it's like a... Uh, if we don't say something, we're technically not lying. We're just uh, not stating the whole truth. There, there are little ways to get around it. I get it. It's good to remember Manethrin. It's just a song. It's a cute little song. It's no uh, toss a coin to your witcher, though. <laughs> Could ever hope to wield, and it burnt her right through from the inside out. Yep, makes sense. You can only use so much of the power before it destroys you. Get that? Weep for Manethrin. Weep for what is lost forever. I will say, I do remember an inkling of that story from reading the books, but it is a very interesting and very cool story about how uh, Manethrin turned into two rivers. At least that's what I am gathering from her story. <sighs> Karen, you gotta tell Moraine about that so she can at least try and heal you. The hounds smell the blood. Okay, that was interesting. I was not expecting that. Uh oh, they're here. They found them. What is that? Oh wow, that's cool. I'm loving the set design for this. Really, really cool. All battered, and hopefully, they tell us the story of this place. Ooh, that's that's not looking good. It's getting worse. Evil itself grew from the city's heart and consumed everyone and everything that lived. Very, very interesting. A couple of things. Um, <laughs> why in Light's name did you bring us here? Touch nothing. Eat only the food you brought. <laughs> it's like, why on earth did you bring us here? I'm not going to tell you why. I'm just going to tell you not to touch anything and not only to eat the food we brought. That's not ominous at all. Just look at the intricacy of the design of that building. It's so cool. The actors must have had no problem at all kind of just imagining themselves in this world. You ever got into any trouble, it would probably be my fault. <laughs> uh, who's whistling? You're, you're too uh, uh, curious for your own good, Matt. Don't do it. Don't go in there. Didn't the warden tell you not to touch anything? Mm, I got a bad feeling about that dagger. I got a bad feeling. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Oh no! <laughs> oh man, that's uh, those are some words coming from her. That's not creepy at all. Oh, 
Oh no, who dis? If you don't take me to them right now, I'll slit your throat. Hey, it's Nynaeve, she alive! Alright, well definitely a uh, slightly different episode than the first one. Obviously the first one we have to do a lot of world building, introduce us to the characters. This one was uh, kind of like half and half with like a subdued, uh, kind of like more build the characters up. What are they uh, doing? Why are they running? And then also like the chase uh, and, and them kind of getting to that weird city. Um, so yeah, definitely interesting. I was not expecting our our group to get kind of get split up so quickly. Uh, uh, you know, if you if you look at other books, a lot of times, you know, the group will have some kind of like thing that happens and they have to split off and take a look at like Lord of the Rings or something like that. Um, but here it's like the second episode and already we have three separate stories that are now going to happen with uh, uh, now Nynaeve is uh, alive, apparently. Um, so that's cool. I wonder how if we'll get to see her story of how she escaped um, the Trollocs and somehow tracked down uh, <laughs> uh, Moraine and them. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if she was uh, following the Trollocs the whole time or maybe she was being dragged with them while they were chasing uh, her, uh, Moraine and, and the group. But uh, yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, we now have the split up of uh, we got Rand and Matt together and then we've got Perrin and Egwene together. So really looking forward to seeing where their stories lead uh, and, and what happens. Um, that whole city thing was definitely really, really cool. I was not expecting it to be just kind of this entity uh, uh, thing. I wonder if uh, uh, Moraine will maybe explain that later on or if that's just kind of like some mystery. I'm sure it's maybe better explained in the books. But uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Love that episode. We got one more to go. Um, I probably won't have that reaction out until after Thanksgiving, so please bear with me with that. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comments down below, and uh, we will see you with the next reaction. Thanks for watching.